Hello guys, this is your epic hint um, for this coming Wednesday, November 7th. Um, we are going to be having an Immaculate Conception party. Immaculate Conception. There's a reason why I'm showing you um, all of these images of Mary because the Immaculate Conception is all about Mary. It's a party, it's a feast for Mary, the mother of God. She's in our church um, just being depicted in our church four different times. Three times over here, and then if you look way over there, across the way, there's an image of Mary in the window over there, too. So Mary is a really big deal for Catholics. Um, just a little bit about the Immaculate Conception. Immaculate means pure. Um, it means, like, clean, um, like we can associate the color white with immaculate. And then conception is the moment when a child comes into the womb. So a moment whenever someone becomes a person in the womb, you know, a baby in their mom's womb. So immaculate conception. A lot of people think that's about Jesus because Jesus had a perfect conception. Jesus was perfect. But the immaculate conception, the feast, is actually about Mary, the mother of God. Mary is really, really special because she was set aside by God, by Jesus Christ, to be the mother of God, to be the mother of Jesus. So she's very special. I was born, whenever I was conceived, um, I had something called original sin. So I wasn't perfect. Even whenever I was just a little baby, I still had a taint of original sin. Mary was set aside, and she didn't have that original sin. She was totally perfect, even right when she was born. She was very special. Jesus made her very, very special. So that's really cool. And so we have this feast, this party, um, the Immaculate Conception to celebrate. Now, one thing about it, it's, it is a holy day of obligation. So, you know, we're always expected, required to go to Mass every Sunday or Saturday night as Catholics, to be practicing Catholics. And then there's a few days throughout the year that are called holy days of obligation where we also need to go to Mass. So this coming Wednesday is the 7th. The actual feast is on the 8th. So you need to go to Mass, um, get your parents to take you to Mass, either on Wednesday, the 5 o'clock Mass, we're going to have a 5 o'clock Mass on Wednesday, right before Epic, or sometime on Sunday as well. So um, the plan, 5 o'clock Mass on Wednesday night, and then afterwards at 6, we're going to have a, you know, kind of like a party, we're going to eat, we're going to have lots of blue and white food, um, blue to represent Mary, and white to represent um, immaculate or you know, cleanliness and purity. Um, following the food, um, the food, by the way, um, is going to be with the little saints and with RCAA and with the St. Matthew's Bible study, so it's going to be a big deal. And then we're going to have a little bit of prayer in between, and following the prayer, we're going to play games and do lots of fun stuff like that. It might be a good idea for you to remember some fun facts about Mary that will probably benefit you and get you some prizes for the games um, next Wednesday night. So um, that's all of the hint. It wasn't really a hint. I just kind of told you what we were doing, but that's all right. So yeah, thanks guys. Bye.